to the province of Agrigento. It has been very nice, beautiful places. I'm in a place called Enchanted Castle. It's a place where an Italian, Filippo Ventivegna, was living and he started making this kind of strange uh, sculptures. And they were saying that uh, he fell in love with one girl, but later uh, the story ended uh, badly. And like this, uh, basically, he became mad. And like this, he started making all these sculptures and even making faces on the trees. And now here in this garden, there are even more than uh, 3,000 different faces that he was really uh, making uh, through his whole life. And later Filippo was also called uh, Filippo of the Heads and uh, Filippo the Madman because really he needed to be crazy to make really all these faces, all these heads that we can see here in this garden. everywhere all those faces <laughs> it has been really a big big work è buonissimo senza formaggio veramente buono noi non mangiamo formaggio allora tutti senza formaggio però sempre gustosissima. Sì. Complimenti. Vera, Quindi, Vai. come si diceva? Un cucchia di dighi. Un cucchia di dighi. E che significa? <ride> eh, si prende subito amicizia. Esatto. Mm. Quindi in Sicilia funziona sempre così? Sì, sì. in Sicilia funziona un cucchia di dighi, subito amicizia. <ride> Bellissimo. <ride> e noi siamo stati sempre una cultura aperta. Siamo stati qui il centro del mondo. Mm -hmm. Il mondo che non era qui è venuto qui a dominarci e quindi noi siamo stati sempre tutto. Siamo stati nordici con i normali. Certo. Mm -hmm. Guarda mia figlia, guarda mia figlia. No. E donna con gli occhi celesti. Mm. Mia moglie è tunisina. No. <ride> <ride> okay. Questi DNA che noi ci troviamo non so, io sono shaktana eh, sì, si mandano nei nostri geni dal punto di vista genetico già nella stessa famiglia la famiglia che è normanda e una moglie che è araba quindi tutti i colori cioè proprio in una figlia, colori, una sì. figlia quindi, che paura noi possiamo avere dello straniero mm -hmm. che, siamo che noi siamo già stranieri noi per DNA mm -hmm. quindi non abbiamo noi paura degli stranieri sì. Questo okay. succede, quindi noi siamo già il mondo, la per tavola, per favore. No, per tavola siamo il mondo, mm. geneticamente siamo il mondo. While I was visiting the Enchanted Castle, I met uh, Giuseppe, who is working over there. And then I started to walk uh, towards Menfi, and then he was uh, passing uh, with his car. And he told me, oh, you, you need a lift or uh, at least like uh, he was uh, offering me to go to his place to have the lunch together. And finally, it was so nice experience, like very beautiful family that Giuseppe with his family, they uh, offered me the lunch at their place. Uh, they were really, really generous. And I'm so happy to have been part of, let's say, to have been part of this lunch and they have been so kind to me and I really, I didn't expect anything like this just to have the lunch here in Shaka together with the people from Shaka I don't know anymore if I need to cry or laugh because look what I have here again that's the road that I need to take and it seems like there's, let's say, a river in the middle. So, again, I need to just go through the water. It has been raining really much, I know, but at the same time, 
Why oh, it's like this? I can't stand it anymore. But I have no choice. It's completely dark outside. And I'm still walking to Menfi. Finally I have arrived to Menfi. But the way uh, to hear it was really, really hard. Uh, and even the last three hours were, I think, the worst that I have had during my trip. Because it was so dark. I didn't see anything. I mean, I had my headlamp, but at the same time, I was like in the middle of the fields and I felt so lost and even like a little bit in danger. But it was really bad. And then as it has been raining so much, finally uh, I need to went through, really to went through, to walk through different rivers. And my feet are so wet that I don't mind them anymore, but still, it has been really hard and I feel a little bit sad. And my game is so dark, very tired and uh, I have no idea where I'm going to sleep for this evening. So you want to know how my day finished? At least I'm in a nice bed, warm bed, and I can rest. But I will tell you the whole story tomorrow. I can't believe it. <laughs> Good night. Good morning. I'm in Menfi. Menfi is a beautiful town with about 12,000 inhabitants and it's also quite close to the sea. You can see it uh, on that side. And now we'll take a walk in the town. So there are some very typical streets where to walk and some nice uh, buildings. So we want to see them. And then I wanted to talk about the, the last night. And finally, I was so lucky uh, that uh, local people from here uh, hosted me for this night. I just went to ask for uh, some information where to sleep because I had to find some kind of better breakfast where to sleep. Finally, as we're really out of the season, so they didn't have any tourists here at the moment. And like this, it was almost impossible to find a place where to sleep. And finally, uh, they were so nice. One family from here, from Memphis, they hosted me and they have been really, really kind. And I couldn't describe how, how thankful I am to them. Just really, they, they saved me yesterday. <laughs> It's a really nice town, but as in 1968, they had a very strong earthquake here, and like this, a big part of old buildings were destroyed. And now they have been always trying to rebuild them and really to remake uh, the whole town. But uh, definitely, it's still a very nice place to visit. A very typical uh, Sicilian town. It has been very nice, beautiful places. And welcome to the province of Prabani. <laughs>